uh, about some things off of a uh, off of Banggood. Um, one of them was this the solar cell that caught my attention. Uh, 18 volts, two and a half watts, um, and it's a uh, mini polycrystalline solar cell for DIY. That's me. But it was only six dollars. It was 15 percent off. It's only six bucks, and uh, I'm not wasn't quite sure how big it was. But it looked like it was about the right size, so I took a, it was six bucks, so I took a gamble. And uh, here it is. Um, but let me show you what I wanted it for. I'm going to have to zoom out here. You remember this. This is kind of a background project. I just play on it, play with it once in a while. Uh, but, ah, see? the good size. It's starting to look like a rover, huh? <laughs> so maybe I can have a self-charging battery. Uh, that would be cool. Uh, remember that I put a, uh, on the bottom side here, I put a lead acid, lead acid in the bottom, which charges at uh, 12 volts. And this is a uh, 18 volts, so yeah, it should be good to go. So let's, um, it's got some contacts in the back here. Uh, let's, uh, let's put some wires on it, take off the protective film, and it's a nice sunny day out here in California today, so. Uh, we can go outside and uh, see how much power it actually produces. So I'm going to use uh, this wire that uh, I've had forever, uh, Belden wire, and it is uh, it is a test testly wire. I've got a I've got a ton of it. Uh, it says 24 gauge uh, test prod wire, a thousand volt. So it's got a silicone, I think silicone or or kind of feels like neoprene. Uh, rubber coating on it and it's very 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 flexible and the cool thing about it is uh, let me strip some off of here I don't think you're gonna be able to see this let's see if I can zoom in a little bit uh, it's it's super super fine it has a um, it has a cloth cloth cover around the wire so we need to get that off of there so I can show you yeah it's got this protective cloth wrap around the wire and then uh, let's see here can I get rid of that cloth wire there we go and then the actual wire itself is super super finely stranded it's got like, I don't know, like a hundred strands of wire in it. Maybe not a hundred, maybe exaggerating, but several dozen. So it's really, really nice. It never breaks. Uh, it's super, super flexible. So I thought it'd be uh, good for the back. Now, it's, I only have one color, so I have to keep track of uh, plus and minus, but I really like this stuff and I probably should use it more. Um, anyway, I'll try that.
I'll use some flux here. So I've got this uh, soldering flux that helps with this old, with this old wire. It's hard to get that, hard to get that off. does create a lot of smoke. Okay. So, uh, clean this off. Let's uh, hook this up to a, to a voltmeter. And let me find some short Short clip, short clip leads here. There we go. This will work. Has some uh, Pomona hooks on it. Let's see here. I wired it up so that the. Oops. Short one is, is minus and the long one is plus. So. Minus plus. Turn it over. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Okay, so we have uh, protective layer still on the uh, still on here. Ah. Oh. Yeah, pretty nice. So, uh, let's see, let's uh, bring over a bright light. Put it under the uh, magnifier here. Yeah, 14 volts. Okay. And let's see if we can uh, get any current out of this thing. Let's see if it's, uh, what did it say? Two, two and a half watts, 18 volts. Uh, so it's two and a half divided by 18. Let's see, two and a half watts, 18 volts is 138 milliamps. Not a whole lot. So let's go here to milliamps. 
Oh, 192. I'll put it under the light bulb here. Ooh, half an amp. Did I do that calculation right? Hmm. How many volts? 10. Hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go out in the backyard and uh, see what this thing does. Sorry, I'm using my iPhone. Um, but I have a lawn chair here, garden chair. And I have the uh, panel, mostly in the sun. There's a little bit of uh, shadow from the tree here, but it's mostly in the sun. And we're we measuring 28 milliamps. I must have been looking at microamps last time. So 28, 28 milliamps. Very nice. Let's move it over here in the... Yeah, it kind of depends on if you're in the shade or not. Let's move it into the... Move it into the shade. And now we're only... Um, one and a half milliamps, so... Definitely likes bright sun. Anyway, I'll call it 26 milliamps. And let's measure the voltage. It goes up to uh, 20 volts out in the sun. So 20 times 0.025, so 0.025. I'm not sure about the uh, rating on this thing. But anyway, should charge the battery a little bit. Be a good trickle charge. 